I caught two steel. Oh, I caught the same steelhead twice, I think. And that's all. Dinner on the beach. Oh no, I was washing dishes on the beach. Two big moose came up behind me on the trail. I didn't originally realize they were moose. Thought it might be a bear, so I yelled, Hey bear! And then I saw them and they went crash, crash, crash off through the trees. One evening while fishing, I saw a bunch of little uh, things look like log coming down the river at me, but they were ducking and diving. Turned out they were otters, so I just stayed quietly, watched them get closer, and they pulled up right opposite me, then figured out I was there, and started acting like they'd never seen a person before. The water oozles hung out with me for a while while I was fishing, bouncing up and down, splashing in the water, all around me like a couple of kids playing on the beach. In a pool we call Lincoln Logs, I hooked two and landed two nice, beautiful bull trout. No steelhead though. At Big Banana, I hooked a beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout. Borderline size, where I might start thinking of it as a steelhead, but almost certainly a rainbow trout. Beautiful red stripe on it. No pink salmon carcasses, unlike on the lower river where there were billions this year. But I did find a couple of nice Chinook salmon carcasses. Nothing too huge though. I forgot to bring toilet paper. So I ended up using Discover Magazine, which discovered some things it didn't want to discover. Methinks a moose came before me, and they have a trail, side trail there, cheaters. When I arrived two days ago, the water was complete, the ground was completely frozen, and it stayed uh, frozen all that day and was completely frozen in the morning. My boots were frozen, my waders were frozen. <sighs> Life's hard. Story of my trip 2019 camping. I hope you liked it. Only two fish hooked, maybe only one if you consider the fact that it might have been the same fish twice. But it was a fantastic trip anyway. Goodbye.